الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أما بعد حبت في الله الله سبحانه وتعالى says إهدنا الصراط المستقيم in Surah Al-Fatiha Allah Tabarak wa Ta'ala says guide us to the straight path meaning this is a dua you're supplicating when you read this ayat Qur'aniyya this ayat Qur'aniyya you're supplicating to Allah Azza wa Jal to guide you to the straight path we are in so much need and I have said this countless times and I'm going to continue to say it because I know me I know I need guidance and I'm trying to call others to guidance all of us need guidance. We need Suratullahi Mustaqim. The relevance of me being on this beautiful bridge, which is a Surat. This is a Surat. This is a bridge. It is a road, in it, if you will. But it's a bridge. It's a path. And what, how, what do you see in this path? Oh, mashallah, all these beautiful fish. I'm here in, uh, sorry to distract, but I'm going to give you a little bit of culture too. I'm here in Zanzibar, which is in, I believe it was a slave, it has a slave port, which I hope to visit, where the Arabs used to come here, and also Islam spread here. This is a Muslim, this is a 90% Muslim island. Anyhow, mashallah, lots of fish jumping out of the water, beautiful. This is the straight path. Okay, this is a straight path. Surat, surat al-mustaqim, a straight path. Oh, mashallah, tabarakallah. Under, look at the beauty of all these fish. I don't know if you could see it very well. But the fish, in fact, they follow a path. There will be fish that lead in one direction. If you see all the school of fish are going in that same direction. They're all going to find their success, which is to find food and to avoid predators. When something disturbs them and changes their course, some large fish or something that scares them or some food source, they will change course in unity. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, from the sunnah of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, is that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala does not like that we have chaos and that even in these with these fish that they have a straight path and a source of guidance which comes from the beginning of their uh, looking for their food source and they travel together generally although right now we see the school is just huddled together they're huddled together what are they doing they're holding all together for protection this is how the mu'mineen should be. That we should be striving to be on the suratullahi al-mustaqeem, the straight path of Allah Azza wa Jal, which will get us to Jannah. It is one surat, it is one path. And we should be adhering to that path together as these thousands of fish are doing together. They find protection, they find safety, they find uh, uh, salvation, if you will, in being a school, being together. And we find protection, safety, and salvation as being one ummah, not dividing based upon race, not dividing, dividing based upon uh, sectarianism, dividing into groups and sects, but rather we are ordered to be one. وَاَتَسِمُوا بِحَبْلِ اللَّهِ جَمِيعًا Adhere all of you steadfast to the rope of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and do not divide. So we are to order, we're ordered to cling to the Quran, practicing the Quran, understanding the Quran and the sunnah of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam as one, as one body, wanting for one another what we want for ourselves, wanting good for, for, for the ummah. A going in the straight path. So that means dividing, not divide. وَاَتَسِمُوا بِحَبْلِ اللَّهِ جَمِيعًا Adhere all of you steadfast to the rope of Allah and do not 
divide. So we're, we're not ordered, we're, we are in fact prohibited from division, to, prohibited from turning into groups and sects and the parties and straying off from the main body of the Muslims because that will lead to destruction. As the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, that the one who goes away from the, from the, the, the Ummah in that sense, the lone wolf, uh, the lone sheep will be prey to the predators, to the wolf. Likewise, we see this in the Sunnah Konia or Ayat Konia, the signs in the creation that if one of these fish, uh, some of these fish that they end up going astray, they end up getting away from the others, it is much easier for a predator to pick them off. But when they're together as one group, it is mostly more difficult or more confusing and there's a greater chance that they will, some will escape or many will escape. And that is a lesson for the mu'mineen. That is a lesson for Ahl al-Surat. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil and bless us to be of those who cling to the book and the sunnah of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyana Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam